prove that the kinetic energy the kinetic energy of a body of mass m prove that the kinetic energy of a body of mass m moving with a velocity v moving with a velocity v is ek equal half mv square 1 by 2 mv square in a diagram a body was at the point a the body was at rest at the point a at the point a the body of mass m has the initial velocity u as 0 u equal to 0 means initial velocity 0 and the body was at rest at the point a and an accelerating force f is acted on the body at a f is the accelerating force which is acted on the body at a and the body will move from the point a to d the body will reach to the point d and uh, at the point d the body will be moving with velocity v and we have to find the kinetic energy of the body at the point d at a t was zero and at d t equal to t that means after time t the body will reach to the point d at a v equal u equal zero and at d v equal to v before reaching the point d the body will cross the two intermediate points b and c at the point b when the body is uh, at the point b the body has a velocity v and the displacement if the body moves from b to c there should be a small displacement ds because the two points b and c are very close to each other that's why the displacement is very small which is denoted by ds when a force f when a force f, f is applied on a body of mass m on a body of mass m at rest the body moves from the point a to d the body moves from the point a to d for a displacement s for a displacement s so total displacement of the body when it moves from a to d is s s is the total displacement at a s was zero and at d s equal to s and the body moves from a to d for a displacement s and its velocity increases from its velocity increases from u equal 0 to v equal v and we have to find the kinetic energy of the body at the point d the body will cross two intermediate points b and c which are very close to each other the body will cross the two intermediate points b and c which are very close to each other before reaching the point before reaching the final point d final final point d again we can denote the force acted on the body at b at the point b we can assume that uh, the body is moving with uh, general velocity v therefore small work done therefore small work done in moving the body therefore small work done in moving in moving the body small work done in moving the body from the point b to c which are very close to each other from the point B to C for a small displacement ds in the direction of the applied force f small displacement ds in the direction of in the direction of the force f applied on the body at the point B 
is given by dw equal f vector f vector ds equal f ds cos theta equal f ds cos 0 degree as vector f is parallel to vector ds means force vector is parallel to small displacement vector then theta equal to 0 means angle between the force vector and displacement vector will be 0. We can denote the points B and C and final point is D. At the point B we can assume that body is moving with velocity V and acceleration A due to application of force F and small displacement from the point B to C is dS. At the point C the velocity increases to V plus dV. dV is very small change in uh, velocity due to application of force F the small displacement will be dS and here theta equal to 0 degree as vector f is parallel to vector ds. Therefore dw equal f ds in place of force we can add mass into acceleration ma where a equal dv by dt change in velocity by change in time dv small change in velocity from the point b to c and which is a equal to dv by dt which is the instantaneous acceleration of the body at the point b. which is the instantaneous acceleration of the body at the point B. Now we can put the expression of A, m dv by dt ds. m dv ds by dt, moving uh, dt below ds. Now in place of ds we can write v. Therefore dw equal m dv v, where v equal ds by dt, which is the instantaneous velocity of the body at the point B which is the instantaneous velocity of the body at the point B. V equal ds by dt where ds is small displacement. Therefore, dw equal mv dv. mv dv. That is the small one to move the body from the point B to C for a small displacement ds. Now, uh, with respect to the diagram uh, here, Total work done, total work done by the force if total work done by the force if in increasing the velocity of the body from 0 to V or in moving the body from A to D. Total work done by the force if in increasing the velocity of the body from C to 0 to V that is in moving the body from A to D for a displacement S is, e is given by W equal integration 0 to V DW. Integration 0 to V MV DV here uh, MV is integrated over DV. So that's why we have taken V as 0 at the point A and final upper limit of the velocity at the point D will be V equal to V. That's why we have taken integration 0 to V M V D V. M mass is constant. We can bring mass outside integration equal M integration 0 to V V D V. Now integration V D V is V square by 2 0 to V. Putting the upper limit and lower limit V square by 2 minus 0. We get W as half M V square. W equal 1 by 2 M V square. Now, uh, putting, we get the expression of total work done W in increasing the velocity from 0 to V and putting upper limit V in place of V square by 2, putting lower limit 0 in place of V square by 2, we get 0. So, W equal 1 by 2 mv square. This work done, this work done is a measure of, this work done is a measure of kinetic energy of the body at the point B, at the point D, at the final point D at which it moves, at which it uh, continues to move with a velocity V. It continues to move with a velocity V. Therefore, Ek equal W, that means kinetic energy Ek equal work done W. Therefore, Ek equal 1 by 2 mv square, Ek equal half mv square. So, uh, in the above paragraph, we can denote Ek and W 
under bracket e k equal half m b square. This is the kinetic energy. This is the kinetic energy. This is the kinetic energy of a body. This is the kinetic energy of the body of mass m moving with a velocity v. Moving with a velocity v. Kinetic energy of uh, the body of mass m moving with velocity v. Again, if we explain in the diagram, the body was at the point A at rest. At A, the body was at rest means E equal to 0. The body has mass m. A force F is acted on the body. The body reaches to the point D and velocity increases to V. And here, the kinetic energy of the body at D is Ek 1 by 2 mv square. That is Ek equal half mv square. 